First, I headed to one of my favorite coffee shops that I've discovered recently. As soon as I got my coffee, I checked my emails and social media. After the cafe session, I headed to NYC. Okay, so I've been using this iPhone 15 Pro since 6 a.m. and the total battery life is at 83% and the total screen on time is hour and 14 minutes. In this real day in life review, I put all the settings on default. So auto brightness, tap to wake. However, I did turn off always on display because I think not really many people use this always on display and I don't like it because it does drain the battery just a little bit. I was listening to podcasts while I was on the PATH train from Jersey City to New York. However, I never listen on anything on subway because it gets kind of sketchy. As you can see on these battery usage activities, when I use locations or when I'm listening to music or podcasts passively, it will use a lot of its battery life. We could be spending time. There's so many cats and stores in New York. I see, you see this one cat right here. I don't know if it kind of looks good or not, but I'm trying the camera out on the 15 Pro. It's awesome because the AI actually know what you're shooting, so it automatically autofocuses to the cat. From the 15 Pro, after you take a photo of a human or a pet, you can change the normal photo to portrait mode in your photo album app, which is pretty cool. So the new 15 Pro Max has 122 equivalent X5 telephoto lens. However, on the normal 15 Pro, we only have the not usual, but 77 mil equivalent X3 telephoto lens, which is not bad, I'm not complaining. I personally like 77 mil better than 120 mil because I don't really shoot a lot of zoom photography or videography. However, let's just test how far we can go with X3 to that building right there. Also, because of the 48 megapixel sensor, we can now digitally change the focal length of the main lens from 24 mil, 28 mil, and 35 mil, which is super cool. I really love how they show you what focal length you're in. And I use a lot of the 2X on my previous iPhone 14 Pro. So that's an amazing feature. So right now it is 11.13 a.m. and the total battery percentage is at 75%. It's definitely getting low quicker because I use the camera app here and there. Anyways, I just wanted to quickly talk about the feeling in your hand compared to the last 14 Pro. So the new 15 Pro has a bit more rounded corners compared to the 14 Pro. So if you hold it with no case, I think I like the 15 Pro better just because it's a little bit easier to grip and i got the new natural titanium this color looks absolutely sick i love it but i do love the purple better on the 14 pro okay so we're here at the oculus just so we can test the ultra wide between the 15 pro and the 14 pro on the spec sheet even apple didn't really mention about it but there's no difference compared to the ultra wide on these two also in this real day in life review i'm putting all the setup on default so i'm not doing extra on cameras all the video settings are in high efficiency and i'm not also shooting prores video because it takes a lot of battery and a lot of data and i'm not shooting raw photos as well those more of a professional features will be on my next video of the 15 pro from this model now we have smart hdr5 which is the fifth generation of the apple's hdr and from the keynote the example looked absolutely amazing it feels like like they try to mimic it more of the true shadows and true lighting rather than making all the lightings balance out and stuff. All right guys, so right now we're at Grand Central Station, which is my favorite station in this world. It looks absolutely magnificent. It is 2.52 p.m. and the total battery life is at 51%. And the total screen on time is two hours and 46 minutes. And 
interestingly when I look at the battery activity Instagram was using 60% out of this entire day I think the problem is I left the Instagram open while I was using other apps so if you don't want to use your battery just like turn off the app after you use it even though your app background refresh is turned off other apps will still use the battery life of your phone so for this new iphone they're using the a17 pro chip which is a three nanometer chip and it has higher efficiency compared to the a16 that was on 14 pro so on the spec sheet like geekbench score it should be a higher score and not only that it should be more efficient so the battery should preserve better than the 14 pro also on the 15 pro the battery capacity is at 3274 milliamp compared to iphone 14 14 Pros 3200. It's only 74 milliamp upgrade, but I hope this will preserve the phone's battery just a little bit. The 14 Pro and the stuff that almost all the 14 Pro user had was the battery degradation. The battery degradation on 14 Pro was really bad. I hope this new generation of iPhone will prevent the battery degradation just a little bit than the last one. After Grand Centro, I head down to Brooklyn for thrifting. Thrifting was super fun, and after that, I went to Industries Pizza for an iconic New York City pizza. During dinner, I watch a YouTube video and scroll through social media. In the train back, I scroll through articles, play Genshin Impact just a bit, and use Lyft to get back to Airbnb. At the room, I watch some YouTube videos and end the day. All right, so right now it is 8.20 p.m. and the total battery life percentage of this iPhone 15 Pro is at 22%, and the total screen on time is at four hour and 39 minutes. So these are my battery activities, and as you guys can tell, a lot of apps that use locations or cameras camera definitely use a lot of battery out of your phone and surprisingly yet not surprisingly Spotify and Lyft use a lot of background activity in terms of the battery life it's not significantly improved than the 14 Pro but it's still a solid one day battery that you can use it your entire day and I heard that this year's charging optimization will hard limit the charging capacity up to 80% so if you want to stop your battery degradation or if you want to slow it down definitely turn on 80 percent limit on charging optimization but anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys like this video please hit the like and subscribe and my name is peace gates and you guys already know peace out guys